<laughs> Gina, I'm, un- I'm uncomfortable. Sometimes I think extra armor is just not worth it. I, I don't think it pays off in the end. <laughs> oh, you keep clipping into him and I see his skeleton. I know. You know what's even better? This look oh, that Roscoe look is us. rocking right now. Oh, Roscoe. We're, we're about to take flight. Oh, Roscoe, look at you. Oh, my God. The problem look. is it's a great helmet. It's a really good helmet. So we're going through and we're like, We'll just equip some stuff. It'll be great. And then we realize that this helmet is unbelievably good. Oh, it's so good. I was like, do we have to have it? And Gina's like, well, we could put it on Sten. And then we were about to do that. We're like, oh my god, it it's great. So we're going to have giant ears it's for a little It's better while. than most helmets. It's better than this thing Maybe that's on Sten. I, I, you know, I know this is a lot to ask of the game, but I wonder if it would hide the fact that we're an elf. And then they could be like, they, we wouldn't experience discrimination anymore. That, I like, mean, that would... That would be so cool. It would be good. We're not, <laughs> like... There aren't all that many other recognizable features on elves in Dragon Age Origins. No, so, in, in Dragon Age Origins yeah. specifically. Um, one other thing we noticed, and I, I just really do like this cultural choice. We have uh, <laughs> yeah. the tavern with its nice three mug, uh, you know, decal, and it's yep. beautiful, yep. and we've got this cool lava. And then right next door we have the church. So, uh, <laughs> so you, when you finish up with service... You can just drop in for a little brewski. It's, just, it's the, good. The, it's a good choice. Like, <laughs> they've got their priorities straight, and yep. I really respect that. That's how it is. Let's go to this let's, tavern. Let's do it. Oh, whoops. Hi, Cora. Hi. Oh, Tapster Pat. Really? Wonderful. A dwarven tavern. I've always wanted to try some of their ale. I hear it's quite potent. When I love you. When we can do that when for you. You sweet, innocent grandma. <laughs> I love that you're with us. I like this. I like ev- understand why the I like this team. Is that what you're about to say? Yes, I like everything about this group of people. They really need our help so to decide who's worthy. Oh, and then hi. they practically slapped me. Hi, Lord, Lord Helmy. Helmy. Lord Benick Helmy. Honor Desher of the Orzammar Assembly and Terrible disappointment to my esteemed mother, who doesn't like me spending That's time a lot of information. in taverns. I got a lot. You understand yeah. what I'm saying, <laughs> I thought you right? said that. On the surface, there are no casts, and it works fine. Am I right, Warden? Um, um, no, it depends no, on who you're talking to. Um, uh, you know me? Word travels fast. A conversational opinion with a dwarf in the assembly. Uh, controversial. Sorry, I was like, conversa- con- that's conversational? That's not a statement. A controversial opinion for a dwarf in the assembly. Most humans treat my, my people like your cast list. And uh, I'm not looking for interest. I kinda, I'm like three. Yeah. I'm like, hey. There are those like you who see this with concern. No? Well, I've taken the time to actually talk to the other casts. Okay. You know, most smiths and tavern keeps would make decent dashes if we gave them a chance and a seat in the assembly. Hey. Or Zamara so mired in tradition, no one bothers asking if the casts are even necessary. A liberal. We found a liberal. We did. Is he talking about talking with the, the cast list or just the different casts? I'm He's trying talked to... to the different casts. Okay. So, um, okay. But that, and okay. realized that some people in certain casts could be on the assembly yeah. if they weren't okay. in the caste system. So you get to vote on the next king. How does the caste system work anyway? I, yeah, yeah. yeah, sure, yeah. Oh. oh, you're serious. Well, it's simple, I guess. The king and elected deshers of the assembly are at the top. Then it's the nobles, then the warriors, and all the craftsmen. At the bottom are servants. The castless and criminals are below even that. Your caste mm. is determined by that of your same-sex parent. And that's where you stay your whole life, whatever your skill. Well, well there's no upward movement at all in this system. So... So wait, how does it work? If a craftsman... And a warrior. So if a craftsman... Can they have a kid and their, like, their their yeah, daughter, so... I guess, would be a warrior and their son would be a craftsman, but, like, exactly, but, like yeah, they'd still if... be... Yes, so if a craftsman, if a female craftsman and a male warrior had a daughter, then their daughter would have to be a craftsman. Okay. Yeah. Okay, alright. Yeah, because you match to your... Me and 79 other fine, upstanding examples of how someone who's born into every privilege inevitably wants more. They're not fond of my views on equality. 
<laughs> no doubt Who either candidate has been outside the diamond quarter in his life. But Lord Harrimont seems a bit more forgiving. Prince Balin's brilliant, I'll give him that. And subtle as sin. <laughs> but I don't think anything in Orzammar matters more to him than winning. Okay. I guess I should get going. We haven't talked to them As yet, so we wish. don't know much about them yet. Yeah. We have to talk to All them. Alright, homie. Then. Are you an option? Can you join us? I'm just curious. Okay. Uh, He's cool. I liked his- I like him. His, um, his actor was great, was too. Really... Those were really good line yeah, delivery. Yeah, that was great. Uh, everywhere! I can't take it! What? Uh, do we want to- okay? okay, before we talk to this person, do we want to talk to them? It's one of those <laughs> no. situations where- right? no. <laughs> There you go, you just walk away! <laughs> Listen, you've cracked it! You've done it! Oh my god! You wanna... I'm coming, I'm coming! Hold on! I want to go win a beer! Cora! I'll trust Vala, stranger. You must be the Grey Warden we heard about. Yep. Welcome to Tapsters. Tapsters! I'm Cora, your hostess. How may I serve you? I like her. Uh, I'd like a drink. I'd like a drink. I'd With like a drink. Two types of ale, seventeen types of mead, and a dozen imported wines. We should be able to serve your needs. Got and this. What do you have? Damn. Got this. I. We should. Would should probably get ale for win because we know. Wait, yeah. a round of your best brew for myself and the and the house. Are Jesus. We rich enough to do that? I don't. We haven't spent our money on anything else. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. We spent it all on ale all at once. <laughs> um. I'll have some ale, I guess. Yeah. Or we could be adve I mean, do you want to be adventurous? I recommend oh, a break no. okay. brew. Yep. She has a heavy head and a deep, rich taste. Three silvers gives you a pint. Sold. Sold. Uh, yeah. Never mind the drink. A break in <laughs> brew never fails to hit the spot. Thank you. Thanks. I hear you spoke to Lord Harrimont. He's a good man. Do we? Puts Orzammar's needs above his own. Well, I have other customers to see, too. Uh, if you need anything else, just call me over. Sounds like the folks in here are, are pro Paramount. Okay, generally. cool. I'm I guess fine. we talked I... to him at the beginning. Now we're gonna well, go over to the of. church, and they're gonna be like, that, or whatever's face is... We, we lost two silver. Yeah. Um, hey, Brother we Burkle. Talk... We didn't talk to you yet. All right, hey. Baker's blessing on oh. oh, hi. Hi. You're... Okay. I didn't think Doris believed in the maker. I'm Brother Burkle. Well, Red your eyes Cliff are far apart. Wow. Return to my ancestors' land to spread the chant of light. I'm petitioning to open a chantry in Orzammar. Oh. Uh, whose permission do you need to open the chantry? Don't dwarves worship their ancestors or something? Uh, <laughs> well, well, good, good luck, luck with that. that. <laughs> Let me know how it turns out. I will not spread your lies. Don't say that in front of wind. I know. But also, I guess we're not. I keep forgetting we're not Dalish. Oh. But yeah, we are technically. Andrastian. Um, um, uh, uh, good luck with that. Or, Let me know how it turns out. <laughs> uh, okay, who's permission? Uh, the Shaper yeah, yes. controls changes in Orzammar's structure and society. I need the Shaper of Memory's permission to open a prayer meeting. I guess we could... The Shaper yeah. of Memories controls the Shaper, Orzammar's record system. Like the Chantry's historians, but, but more thorough. They track the births and lineage of every dwarf born in the city. Every property sale, death in battle, marriage, or divorce. Mm, okay. Uh, okay, do you want me to talk to uh, him for you? If I bump into the Shaper, I'll be sure to mention it. Any idea where I could find... I kind of... I'm genuinely feeling yeah, too. I, like that. I can see the maker's hand on your shoulder. It's creepy. Guiding you always. It's creepy. Uh, yeah. Please, let me know as soon as you've heard anything. I'm pretty sure that the maker is Lyrium, so that would be bad. Sure. Sten! Sten! That makes sense. I get it, Sten. I get you. I get you. Even talking with sorry. him was probably negative. Oh, I'm sorry, man. That's valid. We I can't... I can't begrudge him being like... Stop. <laughs> 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 I was waiting for it, and then wait, where are we going? To Dust Town. What? It said Dust Town. Okay. I mean, guess we're going there. <laughs> we we pretty much exhausted this area. I, I feel we like we didn't go so. in the church. Could you not go in there? Nope. I went up to it. Oh, uh, okay. I wasn't paying. I looked away, so I wasn't paying attention. You're um, good. Oh. Oh. Dust okay. Town. Ah. The okay. One of I the... wonder if we get to see the the upper area too, wherever the nobles live. Yeah, I wonder live. if we went the other way. If that would have yeah. led to the upper area. So this is oh, oh Jesus! Oh God! Oh God! All right, slums. Yeah. Yep. Woo! This is Dragon Age Two. Love it. Right. This is all of Dragon Age Two. 
<laughs> oh, that fucking town is just a disaster. I know. Oh my I love God. how much, like, nonsense is around to be like, no, here's why Kirkwall is so bad, because, oh, goodness. It's just, like, it's just one thing after the other. It's, like, so much shit piled up making Kirkwall bad. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway. Which is fun. It is, like, for sure. I, I, I really enjoy their sort of almost apologetics, but, whoa, yeah. she's just, I'm not controlling her. Roscoe just what? decided to go Roscoe. for a walk. <laughs> Gina just lifted her control in the air. It's like, there goes Roscoe. You? Oh, hey. You... you don't look like any guardsman I ever saw. And that's not much of a uniform. I love all of the dwarves' voices. Because mm-hmm. they're, I like that they're, they're, that they're not, not Ferelden. Uh, they're not Ferelden. They're not Irish. And they're not like, we're gruff men. They're just like normal people. They're like, hey, here's a story I wanted to tell you about I, my life and my children. I, I, like, okay. I like that they speak with no accent. Mm-hmm. Actually, I like that a lot. That's very dwarven because it's like th- they're below the surface. There's nothing else influencing them and their mm-hmm. speech patterns or their way of speaking. It's I don't know. true, you could but argue I mean, that keep in mind, their... it's not that they have no accent; it's that they have an American accent. Well, that's actually fair. So, yeah. and and actually, I think there's a lot of sort of like they're they're kind of capitalists. They're kind of like uh-huh. their political system is. Like democratic, but not really. Right, it's right. so it's interesting. Like they're oh, not, yeah. Good choices game. Not that I think they're they're like specifically meant to be American at all, at right. all, at all. But but I do think it is interesting that they have made the choice to have them speak with an American accent. Right, right. Um, we're gonna persuade oh, this guy. You looking for a chance to bring in some coin? Could be I have that opportunity. Especially for someone with a few connections above ground. Hey! Uh, I'd have to hear what you're asking. Human yeah. kings, you know, they make these ridiculous laws. <laughs> like about who gets to buy and sell Lyrian, the sacred gift the stone provides us to show her love. No law should regulate that. Uh... The laws are meant to keep mages away from the stuff, so there's always buyers in the Circle Tower. I got one man, names Godwin. <laughs> He's expecting a delivery of his stones. Right? I love this guy. You want an investment opportunity? We know Godwin, don't we? Uh, I could see fit to, remember. say, sell you that lyrium instead at the reasonable price of 50 sovereigns. You can keep it, or, since you can travel freely from here, sell it to Godwin, who you know is buying. And uh, if you bring back his return order, I could pay you, uh, say, 20 sovereigns as a finder's fee. It must yeah. be dangerous if you're paying so much. Uh, yeah. 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 More so for someone like you, I guess. Uh-huh. Most dwarves born down here have a natural immunity. Other races, there are problems if they spend too long with the ore. Mm-hmm. The uh-huh. real issue is that lyrium's valuable. It's only found down here, and human mages can't work without it. That's true. <laughs> He's such a car salesman. I love it. I know. Yeah. <laughs> There's a car salesman selling a not just a car on fire, but a car on fire that has a bomb in it. Like. Yep. It, <laughs> yeah, yep. Yep. Drive it. Drive it there, and pray that the bomb does not go off, and that. Mm, eh, I don't have that kind of money though, some... so it's okay. As long as you keep your eyes down and your mouth shut. We've got no further business. Okay. Oh? Did you turn him down? I, I don't have 50 sovereigns, so oh, it's... okay. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't, and I don't gotcha. really want to. Olimar's Emporium? Olimar's Emporium? That sounds cool. Oh. Oh. It's a really oh. scary place. Oh, it got really quiet. It did. Hi, Hi Olimar. Olimar. <laughs> what are you looking for? We got nothing to buy for the likes of you. Or maybe you wanted to sell. But don't pardon me. Show me your wares. Of course. What you what got? What you got? What can you we got? Have? You got? Wait, wait. Is there any uh armor yeah. we can use here? It's the same. God damn it's it! The same. I want to upgrade. It might look different. Actually, it might look different. It might look better. I would be down for trying that. Wait, what's this? It's expensive. How does the trickster? Oh. It's for a dog. Oh. Plus three damage. There's da- oh, well, Doggo's not Doggo's here, not so here. I can't. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what about... Um... Senior Enchanter's Road. Uh, it's the same? Yeah, it's the same. Yeah. 
Um, gloves. Um, you've got good gloves. That's a little. It's a little better, better but a little um, better. If you're, if maybe you're, these. Oh, backhands. Here, Roscoe. Um. Uh, oh, there's some backstab. Yeah. Yeah, actually. Oh, better. yeah, yeah. That's that yeah, yeah, yeah. for us. Okay. It's three gold, but we have fifteen, uh, I guess. I haven't been buying. Do you want me much. to buy the duster leather armor just to, on the off chance that it looks better than the thing that we have equipped right now? I kind of do. I'm gonna do it. Yeah. Uh, if not. Eh, sell it back. Yep. Um, okay. Can you can you pop that shit on real quick? I can. Sweet. God damn that hat. That hat <laughs> is just something else. It's better. It is better. Oh my goodness. Uh, and I then like we'll... it. I just was so done with those rivets. I know. I, I've I've been done <laughs> with it for a very long armor. time. Oh and my then god. We'll put where are new? Our back hands. There they are. Cool. And then okay. I think Zevern can get our cast offs, which will be better. Yep. Yep, there they are. Cool. Cool. Um, you can keep looking like that, dude. That's fine. I, yeah. I um, mean, let me see if the, the studded leather armor that we took off is better, though. Oh, yeah. No. No, it's literally the same. Okay. Cool. Okay. Oh, thank God. I mean, it's not like way better, but it doesn't have the. the you know the I'm rivets, just, as I'm you said. I'm really done with that. I okay. just didn't like that look. We kind of look like a Valkyrie too. Which we kind of cool. do. I like yeah. it. We I look very it. Roman right I now. I am not thrilled by the slits that go all the way up past our waist, <laughs> but you know these yep. things happen. Uh, you win some, you lose some. Oh, we updated our codex. Oh, there's someone else. By Idle dwarf. Idle dwarf. There's Bigger. so so much. Spare a bit for the needy. Hello. Oh, sure. Yeah, we'll talk to you. Uh, have you a coin to spare, my lady? It's for my son. He's sick. He hasn't any clean clothes to wear or anything to eat today. Neither have I. Uh, here's five silvers. Yeah. Thank you. That a stranger would care so much when my own family barred me from their halls unless I'm willing to. But no, I can't bear to even think of it. What does your family want you to do? I can imagine. What's wrong? But... You seem unset, upset. Is there some way I can? It's that, yeah. Is there some way I can help? I wish there were. My name is Erlenda. I wasn't always like this. I was born to a mining caste family. We weren't wealthy, but I never went hungry before. Mm. Now it's all gone, and it's my own fault. Ancestors curse me, but there's nothing I can do to set it right. Uh, uh, what happened? What happened? Yeah. I fell in love. He seemed so exotic, you know? Tough and smart and never had to bow his head to anyone. He was castless. Oh. And uh. I think... No. I know he was just trying to father a higher caste child so he could petition for status. Hmm. But our child was a son. Castless like his father. My parents disowned me and stripped my caste from me. Hmm. Unless I agree to abandon the child in the deep roads and pretend I never bore him. Uh, oh, geez. Um, um, is this... This is a genuine sort of question, and this is, again, I just don't know much about Dwarvish society. Mm -hmm. Is this, like, something where if her family was cool with it, it would be okay? Or is this, like, a huge social faux pas that... that it doesn't matter what her family thinks. In in what in what sense do you In mean? like what if she raised her son who is castless? Um it sounds like Could she keep her cast? Actually, that was the question I was wondering like why do they have the power to strip her of her cast when she is not she is not beholden to his castlessness, it's only her son that is. Yeah, but she's raising her son, and the castless all don't... They're, like, lower than servants. Right, they, they they're don't lower live. than criminals, yeah. So... Because they have nowhere to go. Yeah. I guess the idea was, well, I guess because... I guess her family maybe is thinking that, well, now their family and their name cannot continue on because she had a son that is castless, therefore... I, I guess, but, like... Um, could she even raise her son? Like, I, I don't... 
even if she wasn't excommunicated, even if they didn't decide that this was the end of their their oh, line, I see what you mean. Yeah, like, like could she raise her son in? Could where she, she was? Could she raise him to be castless while keeping hers? Yeah. I don't know. I don't do. Do you even? How do you even raise a, a castless person? Like, I, I I don't know. Is there like? Can they only live in Dust Town? Can they like? I just don't. I don't know. Yeah. Like is. Um, Isn't there any other solution? Yeah, yeah. Yes. I can become castless with him, which is what I've uh. done. Others have raised children like this, right? Begging for change, sleeping in doorways. Uh, maybe I could... Wait, what kind of life will he have? Spare him that pain? What does that mean? What? Is what, this like what is just abandon there? your son? What? Don't raise your son? Or kill your son? I don't know. What if we try to reason with her family? Probably not. Y you would do that? But We're taking why? on a whole bunch of side quests. I don't I know. <laughs> it's uh, the only place where we feel like we can talk to people. I know. With it, it really that, comes back and bites us. With the exception of that one nervous guy. Yeah, which, like, <laughs> which we just had to pause for a second and be like, okay, I, uh, this is someone we want to speak to. Um, I don't like to see it, but I don't uh, uh, yeah. uh, Sure, yeah. Then I cannot offer enough gratitude. But I warn you, my father is a stiff-necked man. His name is Ordell, and he's usually at Tapsters in oh, the we evening. Are there. I do not think he will listen to you. But I will wait anxiously to see if you can do what you promised. I didn't promise anything. Eh, we didn't Wynn liked it. Everyone else was unaffected, so... Eh, sure. Oh, there's a lot. There's here. a lot. I'm gonna look wow. for some yellow-named people. Okay. No. Nope. Doorway? What? What slum's house? Huh. I'm curious. Okay. What is your name? I, ah. I mean you, obviously, <laughs> we but... We always desire you, so... <laughs> <laughs> As we've learned. I think it's just an abandoned house. It's like you just walk into a house. Um, oh, well, they're, they're shit in I'm here. I'm stealing this dagger from these... Task complete. On to the oh, right, Roscoe! She did it! Finished. Okay. Cool. Oh, I want it. I'm stealing from the slums. Oh, we're terrible, I people! <laughs> okay, I'm leaving the dagger, That's though. So bad. You left them kind of unattended, okay. It's but fine. they were locked. I did pick the lock, We also so. did get ambushed when we fucking came in here. Yeah. That, that, that's but I looted their the corpses, other. so, like, that's you know, true. suspicious uh, door. Suspicious door. Door this appears. Door. Oh, that's, that's okay. Oh, I'm close to bed. Just a bean of a finger. Time to stick our finger in there and do nothing. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Elizabeth. What are we doing in Orzammar? Uh, what do we need, we to, need do? to get the king, who doesn't exist, to sign off on a writ that will send warriors to aid us when we fight the darkspawn. Right. And because there is no king, we have to somehow we like come up with an agreement between the two folks. Or we who... just, we have to wait till the election happens and then there will be a king. But I think the, the goal from our point of view is probably to like say which side wins is the election. Better. Yeah. Um, that's kind of what I'm feeling right now. Right. I want to see if we could go the other way. I, I want to hear about the other guy other than how... We haven't gone to whatever's on the other side of this bridge, have we? Let's, oh, let's do that. I think so. Chilly. I don't huh? know this word. It's much warmer where you're from, isn't it? Don't you feel cold? I suppose. I don't imagine we can find a cloak in your size, can we? Hmm. What? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Don't mind me. Now I wonder where I could get a skein of good clothes. Oh, Grandma! Gonna make him a gold cloak! You sweet... Perfect grandma. Oh, and you're wonderful. Oh, I love her. Instant, you'll look really sharp in your cool gold cloak. I really like this. This this is probably the upper level, I'm gonna guess. Uh, I really like this party. Proving. This Proving? is a good party. I, I am like I am into this lot. party. Yeah, they're great. Oh man. I'm sorry, Alistair and Morgan, but you guys fight so much. They do <laughs> fight a lot, which is fun and entertaining. Um, so do we wanna like 
check this out next time? Do we want to walk guess. around? This again? is a lot. I don't know. This is this is. I don't know why I was like expecting it to be all in one room, but it is a civilization just all underground. So of course they're. I mean, why would anyone find that entertaining? Oh, oh. when? <laughs> oh, grandma. You sweet innocent grandma. Metal door. Oh, what the hell is that noise? It's a really bad noise. Why am I even possible to pick? What is what? What? Ooh. What was that? What is this going on? This is like horror gaming. Wait. What? Well, good. I think only good things can be back there. Oh, that Proving no. Master. We'll talk to him next. Yeah, I think you have so. a yellow name. Yeah. Okay. That's what we were looking for. Cool. Thanks, guys. Bye.